vessel that he can trust, a vessel that mirrors his own heart. You ought to thank God that God has given you the grace to live in the same chasm of time and space for generations yet unborn are going to be talking about what God did in this night, in this city, through this woman of God. Not because of who she is, but because of the glory that rests on her. Hallelujah. I want you to lift up your voice as you lift up that hand. And I want you to cry out unto God and let him know how grateful you are for what he's getting ready to give you. Come on, I said lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. You don't sound like you're hungry for living bread. Come on, if you want fresh rhema tonight, you need a fresh revelation tonight. I can't hear anybody. Come on, I need you to cry out unto God like the famine is over. Bread of heaven, feed me until I want no more. Would you lift up your voice and help me salute and celebrate my sister, God's gift to the body of Christ. Thank God for one prophetess, Juanita Bino. Give God some glory for her. to give honor to my precious brother, my precious brother. I want to give honor to all of the elders and the pastors and the teachers and the people of God that stand in this place, this awesome place where I feel the presence of God. I am overwhelmed somewhat tonight because for years this man of God has been asking me to come and we had a little laughing running joke between us and I would keep saying to him are you sure and he said yeah I'm sure and I say and I would say to him let me go and pray about it. And I will come back and I will say, not yet. And I am overwhelmed because I do not accept engagements because people are my friends or my brothers or my sisters. I do it when I know that it is the Lord. And I am here today because I know that it is the Lord. My God. So let's see why we had to wait. Why this moment in time is so divine. So divine. I was in prayer and God gave me a few songs. And, and before I minister, there's one that to me sets the atmosphere for the, for the very characteristics of Jesus Christ. And it's simple, and I know that this is a church that could, that could worship in this song like they did in Africa last week. It just simply says, Jesus, Jesus, something happens when we call your name, Jesus, Jesus, 
Coincidence that what he has given me prophetically that I would end up in this place the last few days of January. As I was coming along on the expressway and there was an accident on the expressway and everything seemed to be stalled. And then the Lord said, what seemed to be stalled is still moving. Because on the other side of the accident, there's a freeway. Man, of God is your season. It's your time and it's your time. The scripture said, went to sleep but my heart stayed awake I dreamed that I heard the voice of my beloved as he knocked at the door of my mother's cottage open to me my sister my love my dove my spotless one, he said, for I am wet with the heavy night dew. My hair is covered with it. You may be seated. I'd like to deal with and probably won't get to but the first four letters, four words of this particular scripture. I went to sleep, but my heart stayed awake. And the question became to me as I read this scripture and was trying to find the proper interpretation because I just didn't want it to be something that I read. But it was something that God 
was doing because scripture in this hour, it has to be an experience and not just an understanding. Because there's a lot of things that we understand, but we have not experienced it. And if you have not experienced it, you cannot transmit it. Can't transmit anything that doesn't come from a spiritual place. Whether it's good or bad, it has to come from a spiritual place before it can be transmitted. The person has to have an experience with evil if they're going to transfer evil. Because evil is a spirit, it ain't a word. Got to have the spirit of God. You're going to transfer God. Going to give God to somebody. But it said, I went to sleep. And so I had, be I had begun to think in my mind, what is the text talking about? And then the Lord related that text to me. And I had an encounter and an audience with God. Sleep. When a person is asleep in this text, it means not just you laid down and just took a nap. When a person is asleep, the Hebrew translation helps us to understand that in this text, it means a loss of identity. I've lost my identity. In other words, I don't know who I am. I don't know who I am and I do not know the reality from without nor the reality from within. There was a natural reality that I'm lost to. How do I know when I'm lost? I know when I'm lost when everything around me I do not understand. That things that I have associated myself with and people that are around me are really there to destroy me and not help me. Uh -huh. I have lost my identity when I failed to be able to recognize that somebody that I have that I have befriended is really the person that the enemy has designed to take me out of the will of God. Uh -huh. I have lost my identity when it seemed like everybody is trying to tell me, but I cannot see it for myself because the real devil in this hour, he will not be red with horns and he will not be ugly and he will not be scary, but the real enemy is the one that will come looking like they're saved, acting like they're saved. Oh, be outside you. It will be the one that will come and give you a word from God and it will be a right old word coming from a wrong spirit because in order to deceive the believer, the enemy has got to use the image and the presence of a familiar spirit that we call God. It ain't, it ain't God is the greatest imitation of our times. I've lost my identity because I'm afraid to be me. God is preaching to somebody tonight. I lost my identity because, because I'm afraid to be me. And so watch this, watch this. If you're in here tonight, a flyer didn't bring you in here though. Listen, Facebook didn't bring you in here. No, 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 television didn't bring you in here. God brought you in here because he gonna give you back yourself. Uh -huh. He brought you in here because he gonna wake you up. I'm not here, nobody talk back to me. We've lost our identity because we're afraid to walk in what God has called us to walk in because we're afraid that we're going to be ready rejected and dejected but this is the night that God wakes you up that he gets you out of a coma and help you understand that before I formed you in your mother's room I knew you and I called your life to be a prophet to the nation no, don't get it twisted. Tell your neighbor, don't get it twisted. Because you don't know who you sit next to. Because that's the 
problem. Uh -huh. It's because of you. I done lost my identity. Because no oh my God. Because we sit around and we let people capsize who God has called you to be. But tonight you coming out. Tonight you coming out. Lay your hands on yourself and say, am I asleep? Am I asleep? Am I asleep? Uh -huh. Am I asleep? Woo. Am I asleep because I don't know that it's my time? Am I asleep? Am I asleep because I don't know that this is my time and my season? Am I asleep when I don't recognize that some people I'm going to have to leave? Uh, am I asleep when I don't recognize that I'm going to lose some friends along the way? Am I asleep when I desire to be competent, whether be transformed? We, we, we are in the process of the body of Christ of a lot of transfixing, but very little transforming. You know, when, you, when you have to go to the place of transfixing, then, then that takes the assistance of a person. And, 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 then, and then we become codependent in our existence, in our spirituality on that person. But when you transform, this is something that God did. I'm, 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 not, I'm not hearing nobody, I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. Am I lost? Am I lost? Am I lost? Oh yeah, wait a minute, am I lost? Am, am, I, am I lost? Am I, am I asleep? Am I wandering somewhere? Because I done lost reality from without and I have lost reality I can't see the reality from within because I don't recognize I don't recognize that before I was even formed in my mother's womb I don't recognize that there is a something that is in me called God is able you done lost your God is able how do you know you sleep how do you know you sleep because you shake at everything how do you know you sleep uh -huh, uh -huh. you sleep because you done lost your God is able you done lost your God can do anything you done lost your ability to understand that everything that is going on in your life right now that nothing is an accident that everything is designed by God who am I preaching to no the devil can't kill you no the devil can't wipe you out no oh shine on my top he can't touch purpose I was see the real testimony is not first given unto God and I just thank the Lord for my life help and strength come on somebody you know the real testimony the real testimony in this building is that while I was asleep that Dr. Bynum classified sleep while I was being a whoremonger while I was doing all the stuff uh -huh, that I was big enough to do while I was asleep uh -huh, God came knocking uh -huh, while I was still asleep my heart was still awoke who am I talking to while I was still asleep that's why in the midst of your mess you still had to come to church and praise him that's the reason why you still couldn't stay away from the house of God because I was asleep but my heart for God was still woke see right there if you really paid attention to what I just said somebody would probably put a hole in the wall of this church to understand that while I was a fool, God had his hands on my heart. Uh -huh. The devil rocked my mind to sleep, but God wouldn't let him touch my heart. No, you don't understand me. So who, who am I preaching to? Who am I preaching to? Come on, we got to get you up out the gutter. Come on, we got to get your mind from out of self-pity. Uh -huh. Come on here, somebody. See, that's why God don't shake up when you mess up. God don't shake when it looks like everybody that gave up on you. God don't shake because purpose is in your heart. Hey, it ain't in your emotions. It ain't in you what you practice. It ain't in religion. It ain't in denomination. 
Jason. Hey, what's up? Because, watch this, Proverbs 74 and 9 said, 74 and 9 said, you are asleep when you miss the signs. When you, when you, when you miss signs, you are asleep. With signs, <laughs> when you miss what he's trying to show you, when you, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I thought it was going to be different when I came here because I said, I'm going to run on in here and I'm going to do what God told me to do. And I'm going to leave. But lately what the Lord been doing to me. I've been going to churches. And he won't let me leave the building. So I hope you got some security. Because I'm going to have to sleep on this altar tonight. I'm going to have to sleep on this pulpit tonight. Here goes Shanda. Because he said I need a prophet to lay down. In this building. Until the people wake up. I'm not hearing y'all. Because there's prophets in here that sleep. There's ministries in here that sleep. There's sleep when I become encouraged about what ain't destiny. The heart of God cries out, this place is too narrow. It's not enough room for what I'm about to do. The spirit of suffocation because the anointing has elevated but it has no place to go I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me so it's bouncing all over the building but God said he getting ready to do something supernatural because the book of Proverbs 74 and 9 said you miss all the signs and the word signs in Hebrew the word signs in Hebrew one of the first definition means the word signs mean you miss the ability to see the supernatural divine power of providence of God in other words you misunderstanding that everything that God has spoken he is going to divinely provide it I'm not hearing y'all I'm not hearing nobody somebody better say something in here I don't care who you are tonight I don't care who you watching tonight he said you done forgotten that I am a supernatural power and I have divine providence which means what I'm going to do for you next it is 
Sim. See, some of y'all, some of y'all trying to wait until you get good. You're trying to wait till you get good enough. Because really, the reason why he has not revealed all of what he's going to do, because you don't have the faith that it needs to believe something that deep. So, so, so what God said I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do for you is I got to do this for you. I got to bless you until you believe it. No, y'all ain't saying that. That's what he said he about to do. He said in 2014, I'm going to start blessing them until they're able to say, ain't can't nobody do this but God. This wasn't nobody but God. They're going to say, how did you get that house? Baby, this was God because my credit was bad. How did you get this car? Honey, it was God because the word for 2014 is called free. Hey, that's some stuff he about to do. supernatural power of providence and I'm asleep because I'm fasting and trying to get there and I can't I can't get there I'm, I'm seeking God and I'm trying to get there and I can't get there I'm, I'm talking to everybody I know and I can't get there because he says we're not talking about we're not talking about the motive heart. That's not the heart that he's talking about. He's talking about the emotive heart. The emotive heart is a heart. The reason why he said, I dreamed that I heard the voice of God because he has to speak his divine will in your subconsciousness. He got to go back to the signs of creation with you like he did Adam and he has to put you to sleep so that he can get his will out of you. No, I'm not getting nobody talk back to me right there. Somebody didn't get that right there. Somebody didn't get that right there. Because, because, because you've been wondering why did it seem like I'm walking in a daze and I'm out of it or I just can't, I can't get myself together. No, 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 because you've been calling it the devil, but you better lift up your hands because that wasn't the devil. That was God. That was God allowing you to go to sleep so he can reach in and get his divine will so he can put in you and cause to wake up out of you what he intended from the very beginning. I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't really saying nothing. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't really saying because what he has to do, he has to speak past your mind because if he speak to your mind, your mind will try to regulate it. Your mind will try to decipher. Your mind will pick it apart. Your mind, when you get through, you will give God every excuse. That's the reason why this can't happen to me. Uh -huh. I come from a family of drunks. This can't happen to me. I come from a family of alcoholics. I come from drug family. This can't happen to me. But God said, no, it cannot happen to you because it has all happen in you you don't understand the reason why you here is because God he already did something in you All the dumbness, all the dumbness going to stop. It's going to stop tonight. Because I'm going to prove to you. I'm going to prove to you. I'm going to prove to you. Why you are here and why, when I say this, don't take it religiously. Don't, don't, don't take it religiously. I'm going to show you why 
You can never, ever, ever be stopped. Well, y'all ain't saying that. No, I'm gonna guarantee you, I'm gonna guarantee you that no matter what come, you can never oh, be stopped. You can't be stopped because you didn't start you. I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. If you started you, then something bigger than you can come along and stop you. But because God is the one that started you, the Bible said, who can pluck you out of my hand? Who can, listen, when I give my favor to you, who can annul it? Who can take it back? Oh, why am I here? Why am I here now? Why am I here this month? Because according to the Hebrew sages, I'm not. What am I saying? I'm not sitting down because I'm tired. I sit down when I think I'm getting ready to go out under the power of God. I just have to. The sages and the rabbis teach that the reason why I am here for you and you and in this very city is because this is the month. This is the month of Shabbat. Shabbat is another word for Sabbath. The Sabbath comes every seven days. But God decided that in January, I'm going to make the whole month Sabbath. I came because God is saying, He give me to let your spirit rest. Oh, Yamasha. I came because He's going to allow you to rest in everything that He done told you to do. I came because God said, You're going to leave this place and you're not going to be a person that needs a sign. You're going to be a person that just understand that if God said that I can rest because he got it, then I can rest and no demon in hell is going to cause me to start trying to work on my situation. No demon in hell is going to make me work on my condition. I'm going to take the Shabbat. I'm going to rest in Because this is the month that the trees on the 15th of this month, every tree in the entire universe began to reach within itself and its own sap begins to bring it back to life and begins to grow leaves. This is the year that every tree began to flourish because the rabbis say because of the waters from the winter months. You don't hear that. You didn't get that revelation. Uh -huh. All of the winter months that you have walked through. In other words, if anybody in this building has spent the last year crying and in tears, God wants you to know that this is the night that them tears is going down in your spirit and it's about to come you to produce what the devil taught you lost. Who am I preaching to? I need all y'all. I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. Y'all acting like y'all scared of something. Somebody better break out and start praising God because the book of Deuteronomy says that the people of God will be the trees of the field. And then the Bible said, and you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that shall bring forth your season and watch this whatever you do you're about to prosper
You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. This is it. This is it. You know what I'm saying? No, this is it. For real? Yeah, this is it. How do you know, brothers? This is it. This is it. 2014. This is it. This day. This week. This is it. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I didn't heard everybody say that. 2014. Well, let me help you with something. Jesus came down through 42 generations. The book of Matthew, the 17th chapter says, and then these many generations, and that was 14. And then these many generations, and that was 14. And then these many generations, and that was 14. And it was after the third set of 14 that the Son of God hit the earth realm. This is the year 2014. The rabbis and the medical doctors said that there were 14 knuckles in a hand, which means this is the year that the hand of the Lord shall help us. I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. Y'all, see y'all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't think you heard that. There was 14 knuckles in a hand. This is the year that the hand of the Lord shall help us. Woo! I can't get no better to say nothing. Wait a minute. Let me ask y'all something. Let me ask y'all something. Did somebody... Did somebody tell y'all? Did, did they tell y'all to stay in y'all seat? Did, did they tell y'all? Did they say, "Don't you move? Don't you come? Don't you come past? Don't don't go that way. You you just stay in your seat and stretch your hands up." Because if somebody had told me that this is the see, I'm, I'm gonna prove it to you. Six, seven, and eight. The number six, seven, and eight. If you take the seven out, which is the perfect will of God, which is the Sabbath of God, which is the rest of God. If you take the seven out and you add six and eight, you're going to end up with 14, which means anything that tries to touch the perfect will of God in your life this year, the hand of the Lord is going to slap it out of the universe. I'm not hearing y'all talk. Y'all better come over here and give God praise. He said this is the year of the Lord. Is there anybody that need God's help? I'm not. Is there anybody that need God's help? And all I keep, all I keep hearing the Lord say is suddenly, 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 suddenly. And then somebody say, "Well, what you mean by suddenly? What you mean by suddenly?" He said, "I got to break it down to you suddenly." I looked up the word suddenly, and suddenly meant in a moment. And I looked up the word in a moment, and a moment meant a minute. When I looked up the word minute, minute mean 60 seconds. And I said, God, what are you saying? He said, heaven is aroused. He said, there's an arousal that's happening in the heavens. And he said, I'm the first one to start the arousal. Y'all ain't saying that. He said, that's why the passage of scripture said, I came and knocked. You don't hear me out. He said, because I'm the one that stopped the blessing to flow in. Uh -huh. I'm the one that arouses heaven. Uh -huh. I'm the one that started moving through the seven heavens. Uh -huh. I'm the one that come down uh -huh. and hit the earth realm. Uh -huh. I'm the one that decrees and declares. I don't need my people to work. Uh -huh. I need them to respond. Uh -huh. Sixty seconds. Sixty seconds. A minute equals sixty seconds. And then God said to me, What I want you to understand is that when I tell you something and I speak a word to you, you got sixty seconds to respond to me before you lose what I'm trying to prophesy over your life. He said, The reason why suddenly, he said, Because if I give you more than a minute, you're going to think about it. You're going to say, not me. You're going to say, this can't happen. And God said, heaven is a rouse. That's why I came. I came because somebody, it's time for somebody in this building to respond. It's time for somebody. Y'all looking at me. Y'all looking at me. This is not church as usual. This is a breakout. This is a breakout. Oh, my God. I can't hear nobody. Thank you.
talking to me over here. sixth and seventh heaven he said when heaven is aroused heaven splits a portal in the spirit and it gives you a time frame to get your request up through the portal and so since you ain't got time to give God your long list what you do is you send your shout up there because in your shout Send your shout up. Somebody, you gotta send your thanks up. Somebody, you gotta send your praise up. Hey, somebody, somebody gotta shout up. Shout out of your spirit. Shout up. The rapid demon in hell. No, I'm coming out. It's still, it's still too much empty space right here. Somebody need to run out of your seat and go to praise and God. I 
prayer summons. I heard something in the spirit. I heard something in the spirit. I heard something in the spirit. And it was deep. Just now. When I came out of that last shot. When I came out of that last shot. I heard something in the spirit. And the Lord said. Tell the whole building to do that. I heard in the spirit. People watching. They streaming. You in your house. I heard in the spirit. That people were saying. Wake me up. 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 Then they got loud. They start saying, wake me up. Wake me up. Wake me up. Wake me up. Till I can hear you. Wake me up. Wake me up. Until I know you. And then I start hearing them say, wake me up. Jesus. I said the Holy Ghost said shout out of your mouth because when you open your mouth he gonna shake you in your inner sanction of your spirit and he gonna wake you up and when I say shout you better start shouting wake me up because if you don't wake up tonight you may not get another chance if you don't let go you up. You may not ever. You may not ever. You may not ever. Get another change. Not shout. Shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake, shake. Keep shouting. Keep shouting. and you gotta and you gotta lay your hands on your neighbors around you because 
because I don't think you understand them. The rabbis tell a story to the rabbinical students when they were young. And the story said that there were two men in prison. And the two men that were in prison, oh, I'm seeing some of y'all. I'm seeing some of y'all back there. I'm seeing some of y'all that's still in your seat. I'm here to tell you that this ain't church as usual. Tonight, you cannot afford to sit there and rock like you feel the presence. This ain't that night. Because the Lord said, I will remember this night. I will remember who responded to me even when they didn't have the faith to know what I was doing. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. I will remember those that shouted anyhow, that said, God, I don't even know what I'm shouting about. But oh, shake it And so he said, he said, the story went that there were two men in prison. And the two men that was in prison. I am the she, I'm not saying. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Just have to walk over here where my bed is. He said, This is going to be my bed. Oh, mama. He said, There was two men in prison. And the one man. One day the king came down through the prison, Pastor. And the one man cried out to the king. And he said, oh king, forgive me and deliver me out of this prison. And the king heard his cry and the king said to the guards, let him out. And they had been in jail for years together. And when they got ready to leave, the one that was still in jail, he yelled out to him. And he said, hey! I got something against you. And the one turned around and said, what you got against me? He said, because you had a voice that the king would hear. And instead of you saying, let us out, you said, let me out. And so God is saying, I'm breaking a spirit in here tonight.
such a gift, such a gift, such a gift, such a gift. Wake up the prophetic. Thank you. 
around somebody in this building. Put your arms around somebody in this building. And you got to prophesy and speak. And say, tonight he woke me up. Put your arms around somebody and say, tonight he woke me up. Turn around and put your arms around seven people. They said, tonight he woke me up. You got to say it out your mouth. I don't care, I don't care what you feel. You got to say it out your mouth. You got to prophesy that. Turn around to seven people. Look them in the eyes. Don't just say, look them dead in the eyes. Look at the corners of their spirit and say, tonight, he woke me up. Oh, shit. Turn around the seven people. Come on, turn around. Turn around the seven people. They say, tonight, he woke me up. Tonight, he woke me up. Tonight, he woke me up. Tonight, he woke up my spirit. Tonight, he woke me up. Come on, you gotta listen in your home. You watch it by street. Lay your hands on yourself. Go look at yourself in the mirror. And tell the devil, he woke me up. Hell, I'm on shine. You watch it by television. Make the devil out of the liar that he is. building to go and get a white handkerchief if you ain't got one go buy a sheet and cut a piece of it 
I want you. The Lord has given me this. I want you to fast until 5 o'clock. You can drink whatever you want, but you can't eat nothing. Because the glory of the Lord is coming down in that fabric. And when you take it back in your house, the heavenly host is going to follow you in that building. There has been a supernatural divine change. And my job tonight is to stay on the wall and keep the watch. Because the spirits that God drove out of this place tonight, they're not coming back. Come on, here's somebody. Because we ain't looking for a house. We ain't looking for a car. But we want more. I'm your spirit, Jesus. this enemy, you shall see no more. This spirit, you shall see no more. All over this building. Do what God told me to do. When he spoke this to me, he shut me away in my house for 15 days. And he gave me an audience with him about this woman. About being woke. And when you woke, you don't need the motive point. You don't need the heart that needs to be stimulated by encouragement and by You don't need the heart that needs to be stimulated by stuff and things. When you woke, the emotive heart it loves God on its own. It's not prompted by gifts. It's prompted by memory. And I will define that tomorrow. The power of a divine memory. Love you because I believe in you. <laughs> I'm free because I believe in you. Such a great anointing. He went out of the desert and he sat down and the Lord said, I spoke. And I caused a gourd and then a tree to come up out of the sand and give him shade. He said, and then the next day, he said, I spoke to the ground. He said, and I developed a cut worm. It's a worm that eats the root of everything. The Lord said, There's such a mighty anointing in you. The 
the laying on of hands, for the healing of the sick, a mighty deliverance spirit in you. And so tonight, as I lay down, he's going to send the cup room. And everything that's around you that hinders this great coming forth out of you. A cut worm is going to eat it by the root. Because you are the leader of the next generation. You are. There are many young men out here. But you are. You are. You are. Even spiritual Christian influences that are trying to influence you from going this deep. I shall send the cut one. For the anointing that lies in you, Dormant, is greater than those that you look up to. In my first life, I was the people's people. In my second life, I'm God's people. And in this life, God told me, he said, Juanita, I'm taking you down to the ground. I'm taking you to nothing. And I'm going to make you a nobody. Because I have to cut everything away from you that thought they made you. And I have to make you look like trash. So that I can authenticate your calling. But God is going to break the spirit of fear of acceptance. Because he said, I have need of you in this hour. And the prophetic anointing that is upon you. And the miraculous things. The divine things. Even since your youth, you have walked in the divine. In your worst of times, you have prophesied yourself back. And God said in 2014, when I was coming down the expressway, I saw two big, huge gold doors. They swung open. And God said, tell him that the door to this dimension that he know of, not that he know not of, that he know of, it's open for him. And if he is coming, he must come now. Because that which you are doing, it will end. Your gift and your anointing that you walk in now, it has a season. And the new season for the new anointing. For the fresh anointing, for the supernatural, it's coming upon you. This is your season. This is your season to be a crazy man in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost that you know that you run from. Shout in here. I said, give God a shout in here. I said, 
get God a shout in here. Lift up your voice and give God. It ain't nothing to see. Give God praise. Give God praise. We will be the children that what men look upon that father. Give God the praise. Give him glory. He's raising up. He's elevating in the house. When the man of God go up. Everybody in this building. What I carry now, it cost me everything. Everything. 
everything. He took me to everything so that I can find the real Jesus. I met Jesus. I met the real Jesus. I'm not talking about the one the church play with. I met the real Jesus, the Savior of the world. I met him. And I know him to be my Savior. I know him to be my healer. And now that I have him, I feel like a billionaire. I can't explain it. To know that I would have been preaching all these years and experiencing Jesus. Jesus of the church. But not Jesus Christ. And that's why I can't play. That's why I can't come to a church unless God said. Because God is conscious about where I have to lay my head. And I got to go sleep in churches. I got to lay in the gap until it's finished. I don't want no mattress. The Bible said that the prophet laid down until he picked up the infirmities of the people. So he felt what they felt. I walked through this building and I grabbed some of you and hugged you because I found out for myself what it feels like to be left alone, to have nothing, to not know whether I would live or die, to feel like I'd have lost my mind. To feel like, is there anybody care? And the Lord said, that's why I let you go to the ground. Because I need somebody who ain't too high. Who can still look in the face of the weary. And say, I know that look. <laughs> I done seen that look before. But I know he able. And I know it's already all right. And I'm praying for you for real. Because I know the look. I know the look that says if somebody don't grab me, I'm going to kill myself. I know the look that says I want to drive my car off the side of the expressway. But you not. Because you're going to come through it. Because he's working it out for your good. He's a restaurant, and I know it. And all over this building, He gave me two things. He gave me, you run in with a word, and you can't go deliver that word unless it's to the people and it's their time. He said, You want to preach that? He said, You're going to tell them what I said. And the spirit of the father in this place. He called out to me. Three sets of people. And pastor. When I started laying in churches. And just giving offerings away. And just didn't know what God was doing. 